Hello viewers, welcome back to another math class. This is episode 5 on probability. You can watch the previous 4 episodes on my playlist on statistics in, on YouTube. So today, we have this question on um, sampling without replacement. If you look at this question, it says that a box contains identical balls of which 12 are red, 16 white, and 8 blue. Three balls are drawn from the box yeah one after the other without replacement find the probability of selecting three red the first is blue and the other two are red and the last question now solving this the same approach we used in our previous question is the same approach we're going to use today so now um let r represent red ball okay let w represent white balls and let B represent blue balls okay so now the number of red balls that we have here we have 12 the number of white balls we have 16 okay and the number of blue balls we have eight so with this we can get the total number of balls okay so now the number of the total let me call it t which is represent total is 12 plus 16 plus 8 and this is going to give us 36 so we have 36 balls in total don't forget this sampling is without replacement now let's talk about um, the first question. The first question says that find the probability that the three balls selected without replacement are red. So doing this, we have that the first ball is red, the second ball selected is also red, and the third ball selected is also red. That is, probability of R1 multiplied by probability of R2 multiplied by the probability of R3. So doing this, the probability of R1, for you to get the probability of R1, that is number of R1 over total. We've done this in previous episode. So we add that to the number of R1, which is 12, over total boss, which is what? 36. Don't forget, this experiment is without replacement. If the experiment is with replacement, you repeat 12 over 36 three times. But in this case, no. So since you pick one red ball, that is the number of red ball will decrease by one. So we have 11 red balls. Over the total will also decrease by one, which is 35. Because you are not replacing the balls. That is the difference. So for the third attempt, the ball will also decrease by 1, which is 10. The same thing will happen to the total by decreasing by 1. Okay? So if you multiply the numerator over the denominator, okay, solving it, like here we have 12 here, 1, 12 here, 3, like that. 2 here, 5, 2 here, 17. If you break this down, this is going to give you 55. Okay? 55 over 1,785 is what you have for the first question. Now, let's go ahead and look at the second question. For the second question, it says that the first is blue and the other two are red. That is, the probability that the first ball you choose is blue. Okay? And the other two balls are red. That is, the second is red and the third is also red. The arrangement is very clear in this regard. Okay. So, doing this, we have that the probability of blue, uh, of blue multiplied by the probability that the first is red multiplied by the probability that the second, the third is also red. Please pay attention to this. Now, looking at this, this shows that the first, the probability of blue, we have number of blue, which is 8, 
We've got total number of balls, which is 36. Okay. For a bit of red, number of red, we have 12 over total, which is 36. Now, we picked a red ball. We picked the what? We picked. Stop. Might be bagging. So we put that in the beginning. Start. So now we have the probability of um, blue. Number of blue we have eight. Total, which is thirty-six. Multiply by number of red. How many red? We have twelve. Divided by the total. Don't forget that when you pick the blue, you are not replacing the blue. So the total will decrease by what? Thirty-five. You have thirty-five chance. Okay. Multiply by now we are picking red again. This shows that the red decreased by one. So here we have 11. The total decreased by another one, which is what 34. So if you are not replacing the total, will be decreasing. Okay, so doing the same thing for this here we have um four here, two, four here, nine, two here, one, two here, 17. Dividing this down, we're going to have um, 264 over 171010. Okay, you can use a calculator to confirm if this is perfect. For the last attempt, this is a little bit um, different. It says that two are white and one is blue. We don't know the particular order they choose this. Now, what are the possible ways? If you look at this, we have that the first is blue, the other is red. This is perfect. But here, two are white, one is blue. We don't know the particular order. So there are several means in which you can have this. So it's possible. We have two white, one is blue. That the first two is white, while the last is blue. Okay? Or... The first is blue, the other are white. Or we have white, blue, white. Okay? These are the possible ways we can have it. Okay. So now, the same thing is going to be applicable to others. So here we have probability of white, white, blue. White, white, blue. Plus the probability of blue, white, white. Plus the probability of white, blue, white. Now let's do this. For white, how many white do we have? 16 over what? 36. Selecting another white, we have it reduced by 1, which is 15 over what? 35. Selecting so blue this time around, we have it to be what? 8 over the total decreased by another 1, which is what? 34. Plus. Blue first, we have 8 over 36. White come next, we have which is what? 16 over the total decreased by 1, which is 35. White come next again, we have this to be what? 15. Over what? 34. Plus. White again. Here we have it to be what? 16. Over 36. Multiply by blue. Which is 8 over 35. Multiply by this. Which is going to be. Um, white again. 15 over 34. If you look at this, you have the same values being repeated. So this is more or less like you saying you have 3 in bracket 16 times 15 times 8 over 36 times 35 times 34. Okay, if you multiply this out using your calculator, I believe 
you should have um, 144 over 10710. You can kindly confirm this if this is perfectly correct. Okay, so this is where I'm going to stop. So in our next class, we're going to look at our conditional probability. Okay, then we move to Bayes theorem. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. See you next time.